and take this TLC from me I cannot separate no more Good Wednesday to everybody. Wonderful Wednesday. Got my Sorb Tech shirt on. Hope you guys like the, uh, the upgrade. Um, got my glasses back from the ophthalmologist, optometrist. It's amazing how difficult it is to get your prescription straight. So what we're going to be talking about, we're going to start putting together a group of videos because we are going to really drill down uh, from TLC to flash chromatography. We're going to examine, first of all, looking at compound to then make the correct TLC plate selection, then to optimize solvent system, um, first of all for selectivity and then for solvent strength, and then we're going to analyze based upon that and how much compound we have, uh, the type of column for flash chromatography we're going to require, um, and also uh, how big a column uh, based upon the loading. So, um, you know, there's a lot to talk about and we're going to do it in sections because we want to keep these each informative and one will uh, kind of piggyback or translate into the other. And um, maybe I'll even get some of my friends who are really good PhDs to join me. Uh, they don't have very good voices to sing, but they have great intelligence. Um, so let's look at this a little bit. So first, you know, you're going to look at your TLC, and you're going to, uh, based upon the compound, you're going to def define what kind of phase will be on the TLC plate, whether the compound's hydrophobic or hydrophilic or anion or cation. Uh, molecular weight will come into play also, um, the challenge on that and dealing with TLC is if you have a large molecular weight compound, most TLC plates um, are what's called uh, silica gel 60. In other words, they use a 60 angstrom pore, which doesn't make it very conducive for large molecules. But we'll look at how we can get around that. So once we look at our compounds, once we look at then, okay, based upon this compound, we're going to go to this kind of phase on a TLC plate. Then we'll look at what will be the optimal solvent strength, or first of all, solvent selectivity, then optimizing solvent strength. And we'll look at um, the RFs that are determined, uh, which is the retention factor. And then we'll look at the relationship between retention factor to column volume, and that's basically uh, uh, reciprocal. So basically column volume equals one over uh, the retention factor. So once we determine that, we'll then go to look at uh, how much sample we want to load and then to determine the type of column we want to play with. Whether we're going to use a glass column, whether you're, it's going to be something you'll pack yourself because that's what you have, or whether you have a flash system and whether it's uh, an automated flash system or actually not an automated flash system. Uh, a gradient flash system gives us a lot more uh, to play with, a lot more options, a lot more opportunities. So let's look at um, these things. We'll break them down. We'll identify them. We'll quantify them. We'll make it simple so that you can use this as tools for you to help you do what you do. And that's one of the things that we're trying to optimize here. Uh, on the other front, uh, Everything's great at Sorbonne Technologies. Uh, always want to just reemphasize the fact that if you are doing method development, if you are doing optimization, our applications database is the place to go. And I can't overemphasize this because when I speak to people on a daily basis, it seems like it goes in one ear and out the other. And it's not until they really have a problem that they, they call us and then I say, well, we have this applications database. And they say, well, I didn't know that. Well, you know, we've been discussing this and we talk about it all the time. And also, uh, the fact that we can, if it's not in the applications database, we'll be glad to help you. So uh, you can always email us the compound and then we can scale that up. Otherwise, we're going to take it short and sweet. Uh, we'll lay, we'll, I don't know, if, should we, Randy, should we do like a little, you know, guitar lick to get out of here or just? Yeah, sure, but I want to let everybody know that they can hit the application database 
on their smartphone or tablet also. Wow, yeah, this is something new. Randy hooked it up. He's our IT guy. And so you can down, how do you, how's that work, Randy? Just give me a quick little. You just, just hit the website and it goes into mobile mode. There you go. Technology at its best. It's really awesome. So um, we'll take this out with a cool riff or just take it out and say goodbye. I think we'll just say goodbye. We'll do a good riff next time. Ciao.